everyone. We're going to simplify the square root of 3 minus 2 times the square root of 2. Um, the reason we want to simplify this is uh, sometimes uh, it's easier to deal with this when uh, we don't have so many radicals. So what I can do is I'm looking at uh, this formula here, your perfect squared trinomials. We have a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So the technique we want to use is this. We have the square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 2. Now I'm going to multiply this by 1 here. And let that be my negative 2ab. So basically I have negative 2 um, square root of 2 times 1. Therefore, if I want to write it in this format, uh, my a equals square root of 2 and my b equals 1. Alright, so to do that, what I'm going to do is rewrite this as square root of 2 plus 1, all right, minus 2 square root of 2, go ahead and put the times 1, and rearrange this as square root of 2 minus 2 square root of 2 plus 1. Now, uh, the way I can rewrite this is uh, my a is square root of 2. So that would equal, as a perfect square trinomial, um, and we can put the 1 here if you want. All right, so you could write this as square root of 2 square. All right, so I'm trying to fit, fit, uh, put it in this formula. That gives me my 2. Then just copy down your uh, 2 square root of 2. You can put the 1 if you want, times 1, and then plus 1 squared. Now I'm going to write it as a minus b squared, since it's a perfect square trinomial. So that means I can rewrite this as a square root of square root of 2 minus 1 squared. So I just substituted in my a and my b. Um, our, the square of a square root cancels each other out. This is really a square root of 2 minus 1 uh, squared. And this uh, square root sign here is to the 1 half power. So these cancel out and you get the square root of 2 minus 1. So that is the simplified version. If you put this in the calculator and this one in the calculator, you'll get the same approximate value. This simplifies easier to work with in uh, some problems. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.